Are you looking for the best portable welding machines? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best welders on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Best Arc Welder Yes Welder Arc Welder. For a good arc welder, it's worth considering Yes Welder's 205 DS version. The box has overcurrent and overload protection and is perfect for transporting around a worksite. Yes Welder also has two other models, the Arc 125 DS and Arc 165 DS. In comparison, the Arc 205 DS has the highest amps, so for anyone just starting out, the Arc 125 DS might be better suited. This welder is far better than I was expecting, and has much more power than I thought it would, wrote one reviewer with 60 years of welding experience. I thought that 330 seconds rods would be the most it could handle well, but after using them, and low settings, I am sure it could handle 1 8 rods with 220V power. More powerful, up to 205 more amps, ideal performance for most 6010, 6011, 6013 and 7018 rods. Safety, automatic compensation for voltage fluctuation, overcurrent protection, overload protection, temperature control. Automatic hot start, boosts the current during starting to provides easy, quick and reliable arc starts. Auto adaptive arc force, minimizes electrode sticking in the puddle without compromising arc stability or increased spatter. Portable, compact design, weighing in at just under 10 pounds, 4.5 kilograms, so you can work smarter not harder by bringing the welder to the work, easier to carry and store. Number 2. Best Dual Voltage Welder Weld Pro Welder. Although the most expensive welder on the list, its price is justified because of its 3-in-1 capabilities and, according to users it's still moderately priced compared to other models of its caliber. This version from Weld Pro allows for MIG, TIG, and arc welding and, thanks to the optional spool gun, metals like aluminum can be welded too, with its MIG settings. The build quality is great and it works so well in all modes, explained one reviewer. I have run it through MIG, TIG, and stick welding with absolutely no issues. I have used both 2-pound and 12-pound MIG spools in it with both gas and flux per wire. WeldPro's flagship 200 amp MIG welder that goes beyond MIG and flux core welding. And 3 year warranty. The Model 200 is also capable of true lift TIG welding, without foot pedal, as well as stick welding and aluminum welding with the optional spool gun. The MIG 200 is an intuitive synergically designed MIG slash flux core welding machine. MIG, stick, or TIG weld all from a single compact, space saving unit. Welding amperage ranges 230V, MIG, 40-200A, MMA, 40-200A, TIG, 15 MIG, 40-120A, MMA, 40-120A, TIG, 15-120A, 30% at 200 amp rated duty cycle. MIG welding wire diameter, 0.023.030.035, welding thickness, 19 GA 0.197 in TIG tungsten needle diameter 0.0630.094 welding 25 GA 0.063 to 0.157 acid electrode alkaline electrode welding thickness 14 GA 0.315 in dual digital display easy to read and set amperage and wire speed for repeatable welds every time VRD high temp and overload protection with indication. User adjustable inductance settings. Number 3. Best TIG Welder S7 TIG slash Arc Welder. Any projects that involve materials such as nickel alloys, bronze, or stainless steel, will most likely be needing a TIG welder. This well-priced model from S7 is a great option. Aside from its TIG settings, buyers can also use it as an arc welder. The box in itself is quite light, making it a good choice for portability. You won't find a better TIG welder than this for $200, explained one reviewer. Some shoppers did note that it's worth buying argon and tungsten at the same time, so you have it at the ready when it comes time to use it. Inverter frequency up to 100 khz, the welding speed is fast, 
the welding process is the best. This is optimized to deliver a flawless weld, making spatter and post-weld cleanup almost non-existent. Rated input frequency 50 60 Hz, duty cycle 85% improves the performance of the welding machine. TIG slash arc 2-in-1, TIG and arc welder with TIG torch, earth clamp, electrode holder, welding tong. TIG welding thickness 0.3-4.8 mm, stainless steel, alloy steel, mild steel, copper, cast iron and chrome. Arc welding thickness 15 to 42 mm. Portable handle makes it easier to operate, the lightweight makes it more convenient to carry. Suitable for stainless steel, alloy steel, carbon steel, copper, copper alloy and other non-ferrous metal welding. Automatic compensation for voltage fluctuation, over voltage protection, under voltage protection, over current protection, over load protection. Number 4. Best Welder for Beginners Forney MIG Welder. Anyone just starting out in welding will appreciate how easy it is to set up and use this little welder from Forney. It's not the most welder powerful on the market, but light to medium projects are a piece of cake and it's compact enough to comfortably tote around. It's worth noting that this model can't be hooked up to a spool gun, so things like aluminum will be off limits. Though many beginners enjoy using this machine, even some professionals have admitted being fans. I've been welding since I was 14, wrote one 51-year-old reviewer. I'm using a quality 2-pound spool of wire and max output on the welder. Welding half an inch to 3 16 inch was a breeze. So far I've welded up an entire front-end loader. This machine is great. Powerful up to 140 amp output that allows you to weld mild steel up to one quarter in plate. This Forney Easy Weld 140 FCI machine is easy to use with the 0.30 in flux core wire. It can do 0.035 wire, but we do not recommend it because it reduces the duty cycle of the machine. It has infinite voltage and wire feed speed control so you can dial in the perfect weld. Perfect Entry Level Welder Number 5. Best Flux Core Welder JEGS MIG Welder While this JEGS MIG Welder is considered to be gasless, this isn't entirely the case. Gasless welders still need gas to function, but instead, it's in the form of a flux core wire, rather than a separate container of gas. This particular model may be on the cheaper side, but it's impressively mighty for its price and size, and everything from galvanized barns to exhaust pipes can be welded with it. I have been welding for 20 years and this thing works great, began one reviewer. I have used several of these small cheaper welders, and they will lay good solid beads if you know how to use them. This welder is very handy to have and runs 110V so can take it anywhere, 